you want if you have trouble binding binding means reaching behind your back and grasping your hands you can always use a sweat towel you can use a belt you can use your mat strap mat strap you can use a dish towel you can really use any kind of towel just to reach back we're going to be binding today so much for being here um, we're gonna get bindy today, so it's the last day of, I called this week, this series, this three-part series, an ode to Pachamama, so dedicating this practice to our beautiful planet to um, just sort of say thank you. Let's get right into it. We're gonna start in a Baddha Konasana, so a butterfly pose. You're gonna bring the soles of the feet to touch and butterfly the knees open. And you have two options here. So you can either guide the heels really close in towards your groin. And you're gonna notice that, you're gonna feel that stretch a little bit more into your inner thighs, or you can extend the heels forward and you're gonna be more in a diamond shape. Whatever you're at, grab onto your ankles, puff up your chest, maybe even look up towards the ceiling, take a gentle back bend. And then as you exhale, you're just gonna walk the hands forward. You're gonna take a two minute butterfly pose here. This is an opportunity, an invitation for you to really tune into your breath, really tune into your body, all sensations that arise. You're guiding the breath to where you feel the most restriction. So for most of us, it's gonna be our outer hips. For some of us, it's gonna be the inner thighs, the low back, the glute muscles. Every inhalation is an opportunity for you to expand, for you to lengthen, and every exhalation an opportunity for you to tune in to your core, to your breath, to yourself. Stay with me here, just a few more breaths. Inhales and exhales through the nose, engaging into your ujjayi pranayama early on. Start to relax your neck, relax the crown of the head. Start to drop the forehead down towards your feet. Keep that length in your spine, the length in your rib cage. Keep walking the hands forward. Deep breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Take this moment to just ask yourself what it is that you need from this practice. Remember that this is a power yoga class, so you can modify and adjust as you see fit. You can always add and remove poses. Make this practice unique to anything you need. Last few breaths here. Stay with it. Slowly, you're gonna gaze forward towards your hands and you're gonna walk the hands towards the right hand corner of your mat. And remember that I'm not mirroring you. So you're gonna walk those hands towards the right and really, really reach the left arm nice and long to find that stretch in the left side body, in the left side of your rib cage, your armpit. Take a full breath in through the nose and a full breath out. Just two more here. Stay with it. If you're in a tiny, confined space like me, then just adjust the hands and the arms as you need to. Last full inhale through the nose. And a big exhale out. Walk the hands through center. Try to stay nice and low. All the way to the left-hand corner of the mat. Really reaching that right arm long, feeling the stretch in the low back, the armpit, the rib cage, the lats. That's it, nice breathing. Take one more deep breath in, and one more deep breath out. Gently walk the hands through center, and then take your time to roll up. Tuck the chin in towards the chest, and then uncurl the spine. 
Start to extend your legs straight out in front of you. This is Paschimottanasana in Vinyasa or Caterpillar in Yin. So reach the arms up towards the sky. Flex your feet. As you exhale, reach for your feet with a flat back and then slowly round the spine. We'll do that two more times like that. Roll up, tuck the chin in, reach the arms up towards the sky, look up. Exhale, flat back, reach for your toes. Slowly dome the upper back, tuck the chin in towards the chest. Last time, just like that. Opening into your spine, reach the arms up, look up. Exhale, reach with a flat back towards your toes. This time, grab onto your toes, or if you have that towel and you can't reach for the toes, hook the towel and then pull the biceps down. You're trying to bring your forehead towards your shin bones or your nose towards your knees. If you've been practicing with me before, then you know that when we're standing, I like to take a deep forward bend. This is the exact same variation, just sitting down. Take two more breaths. Keep flexing into your feet, really engage into your hamstrings, muscles. Now, inhale in. Deep exhale out. Take your time, tuck the chin in towards the chest and start to roll up. Scoot your seat forward towards the front of your space. Reverse tabletop position. Palms face up towards the ceiling. Take a full breath in. Stay here for a full breath out. Good, let's take a different variation today. Deep breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna knock off onto one side of your hips and you're gonna extend the legs straight. Come back in. Exhale, other side. Come back in. On your own breath, on your own time. Nice and slow, engaging into the core. Inhale in. This is the third one. Come back. One more time each side. You got it. Work those obliques. I need you to engage the core. Last time. Come back into center. Hold the last in a bow pose for 10. Pull the knees in towards your chest. Palms face up. Receive the energy. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Soften the shoulders for 4, 3, Two, slowly guide the body all the way down. Lie down, bring the knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a big old squeeze. And then release the soles of the feet down onto the ground. Bring the hands, your fingertips, to reach towards your heels. Middle finger grazes the heel just to make sure your alignment is right. Plant the palms onto the ground. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, press into the soles of your feet and lift the pelvis up. Two more times like that. Drop the pelvis down. Exhale, peel up. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, peel back up. Hold it up here nice and high. Start to tuck your scapulas underneath yourself. And then see if you can take a bind. Just underneath your glute muscles. Interlace your fingers. Straighten the elbows. Press into the ground. Hold it here. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five. Keep working your knees towards each other, towards the midline for four, three, two, one. Slowly release that bind and start to roll down. Vertebrae by vertebrae, your tailbone's the last one to come down. Bring the knees in towards your chest, give yourself another squeeze, and then start to rock and roll the length of the spine two or three times. When you make it to that third one, you're going to cross the ankles, roll over the knees, plant the palms, and step back, high plank. First plank of the day, start to shift the weight forward and back so you can open into your wrists. Spread the fingertips nice and wide. We're not here long. My eyes are on the time. Keep the chin away from the chest. Shoulders nice and broad. Lifting the kneecaps. Engaging through the lower body. Stay with it, stay with it. Keep shifting forward and back. This is your wrist opening. Pull that belly in, hips in line with the spine. Lengthen through the tailbone. Keep going. You're almost there. Stay with it. Good, 10 seconds. Pull that belly in, five, four, three, two. Come into stillness, take a deep breath in through your nose. 
As you exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly, nice and slow. When you make it down, untuck your toes, bring the finger pads on the edges of your mat, or excuse me, on the outside of the edges of your mat. Inhale, rolling cobra, press into the finger pads. From here, drop the left shoulder in, look right. Come back into center, take a deep breath in. Drop the right shoulder, look left. Same thing each side, one more time. Come back into center, look right. Come back into center, look left, that's it, beautiful. Come back into center, slowly lower all the way down. One reverse push up, plant your hands on top of your mat, elbows point up, curl your toes, lift the knees, deep breath in. Exhale, one reverse push up, stay here. You're gonna reach left arm forward, give someone a high five. Right arm forward, give someone a high five. Keep the hips nice and square, keep reaching. We're gonna need lots of core engagement to really get that Birds of Paradise today. That's our peak pose. I need you to be connected to your core. I need you to be opening your shoulders, opening your chest, hips nice and square. Keep going. Come back into a high plank. Take a deep breath in. This time we're gonna lift the right leg, pulse to the side. Lift the left leg, pulse to the side. Keep going, chin away from the chest. Lateral extension. You have 20 seconds. You can do anything for 20 seconds. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop the knees down towards the ground. Knees together, feet together, active recovery, toe stretch. Let's start to give the shoulders an opening, big arm circles. Take them one direction. Reverse this motion. Arm circles go forward or back, whatever direction you weren't just going. Keep going, cross in the front. How's your breath? Keep pulling that belly in towards the spine. You're not here much longer, stay with me. Good, reach the right arm towards the sky, left arm towards your left foot. Go ahead and bend into your elbows and then just see if you can tap your finger pads. Go ahead and reverse the other way. Left arm towards the sky, right arm towards your right foot, bend into your elbows. See if you can graze your finger pads. Hold it with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. How's your breath? 4, 3, 2, 1. Release the hands down onto the ground. Tap the tops of the feet. Bring circulation back. It's a moment of playfulness, a moment of silliness. Good, from here I have a new move for you. So you're gonna start to press back into your high plank. You're gonna bend your knees, you're gonna stay nice and low. You're gonna go into a hovering downward facing dog and then you're gonna reach forward high plank. Bend the knees, hovering downward facing dog, reach forward. Just like that, keep going. Really use the breath to stay alive, to stay engaged. I did this move yesterday for about three rounds, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Amazing quad workout. Stay with it. You have 20 seconds. I promise to give you some release in 10. How's your breath? Stay with it. Pull the belly in. Five, four, three, Two, when you're ready, downward facing dog. Take your time to get there. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Settle into your downward facing dog. Start to walk it out, bend into your knees. Sway the hips side to side. Really anything goes here, whatever you need. Three more breaths. Last full breath in, 
Settle into your dog as you exhale. Inhale, gaze forward towards your hands. Bottom of the exhale, step into the center of the space. Halfway lift, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, breath, deep forward bend. Grab the back of the legs, forehead to shin bones. Hold here, five. Pull the shoulders away from the ears, four. Squeeze the scapulas down the back, three, two, one. Let's spine undulate two more times. Halfway lift, flat back. Pull the belly in, exhale, deep forward bend. Forehead to shin bones. Last time, deep breath in. Exhale, deep forward bend. Slowly lift the torso off the chest. Step your left foot back, drop the back knee, keep the toes tucked. Curl, or excuse me, cross your thumbs and lift the arms up towards the sky. Modified Anjaneyasana, the toes are tucked, you're on the right side or the left, doesn't matter. Take a deep breath in. Keep bending into that front knee. Take a deep back bend, inhale in. Maybe even look up towards the hands, exhale. Last full breath in, stay with me. Bend deeper, deeper as you exhale. Release the hook of your thumbs. Slowly take a big back bend, reach the arms back, and then take the arms down towards the ground. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, breath, press back into your half splits. Take your time here, you have five rounds. The inhale takes you into a low lunge. The exhale takes you into half splits, once again, we don't have a lot of time to open into the hamstring, so this is it. I'm on round three, two to go. When you're on that last round, you can either hold into your half splits or see if you can work into your full Hanumanasana, full splits. Remember, the hips are squared. It's okay if you're on the finger pads or on your um, fists. You can either keep the back toes tucked to stay with the bandhas, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out, that's it. Wherever you're at, especially if you're in that half split, keep melting the torso over the front leg. If you're in full splits, I need to keep that chest open. You have two more breaths, stay with it. Last full breath in, full breath out. When you're ready, start to come back into your low lunge. Plant the left hand, lift the back knee. Right arm towards the sky, low lunge twist. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lean back, open into that chest. One more like that, deep breath in. Lean back. Big arm circles with the top arm, one direction. Opening into that shoulder. Reverse. Right arm towards the sky, take a full breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna release the right hand on the inside of your right foot. Shimmy the right foot on the edge of your mat. Inhale, gaze forward. As you exhale, you have the chance to lower the forearms down. You're gonna take this a little bit active. Up, up, down, down. So you're either holding the forearms down, you're either holding into a high lunge, or up, up, down, down, two to go. Nice and slow, how's your core, how's your breath? Last one, wherever you're at, walk your hands back up. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Good, external rotation of your right foot. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna send everything forward. Malasana squat at the front of your space. External rotation of your feet. Pressing the hands into your heart. Stay here, breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Just two more, I know you got it. Keep rooting down, I need you to stay grounded. Last breath in, last breath out. Reach the arms forward, take a deep breath in. We come up in five. Four, three, two, one. Hands into the heart, Samasthi to heat. Take an inhale through the nose and exhale out. One more like that, deep breath in. Exhale out. When you're ready, 
Jump the feet to touch. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, sit into your chair and fly the arms back. Two times like that. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fly back. Squeeze your triceps. Last time, inhale in. Exhale, fly out. Step into your right foot. Lift the left leg high. Single leg Tadasana, arms up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more here. Exhale out. Pull the belly in. When you're ready, release your hand. You're going to bring the left sole of the foot into your right inner thigh, or you can put it just underneath the knee. You can put it anywhere except on top of the knee. When you're ready, deep breath in and a deep breath out. We're going to take a hard expansion today, so reach the hands behind the low back, interlace, straighten the elbows, open the chest. Keep that balance. See if you can switch your drishti gaze, either touch towards the ceiling, maybe left, maybe right. And if you fall, you come right back, yeah? That's the work, that's the practice of yoga. Commitment, focus, last breath in, last breath out. Slowly release the bind, inhale, single leg Tadasana. As you exhale, step the left foot into chair, fly your arms back. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, bring the hands into your heart, you're still in your chair. Rotate the upper body towards the right side. Left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Keep pressing the hands so much so into each other that one day the thumbs land in the center of your sternum. Keep dropping the hips. You're not here long. Sit a little lower. Pull the belly in, lengthen the spine. Crown of the head forward. Press into your hands. Twist, twist, twist. Three, two, one, fun transition. Don't unhook the elbow. You're gonna lift the left leg like a penguin pose, or excuse me, like a flamingo, and then press back. High crescent lunge. Stay with it, keep binding, keep pressing into those hands. You have three. You have a release coming, stay with me. Two, last one, unhook the elbow, windmill the arms open into your first warrior two. Settle into the pose. Take the time to align yourself. Front knee stacks on top of the front ankle. Knife edge of the left foot rooting down. Arms forward and back. Take a deep breath in. A deep breath out. Soften the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Reach right arm towards 12. Left arm towards 6. Bend into the elbows. If you want to reach for your towel here, Great opportunity to add into the practice, and I'll just show you what that looks like. Beautiful, you're in this gorgeous warrior two. You have your towel, or your strap, or your belt, or your scarf in your right hand. You're gonna reach right arm high, left arm low. Bend into the elbows, reach for that towel, and then walk the fingers towards each other. Last breath here, last breath out. Straighten that front leg and start to lean back. Reverse the triangle with cow face arms. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Slowly release the right arm. Reach the right arm towards the sky. Bend into your right leg. Dive the right arm through the leg and then find your towel again. It should be in your left hand. If you don't need the towel, perfect. Just get rid of it. Start to hold your finger pads. Stay here. Extended side angle with a full bind. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. When you're ready, you're gonna start to scoot. Left foot forward. This is it, birds of paradise. Press into the sole of your left foot and start to lift the right leg high. If this is it, you stay here. This is the work, work on the balance. If you have the opening, start to straighten the right leg. Lots of focus. Stay with me. Three. You got this. Two. Give me one more second to try. Yes, yes, yes. Press into the sole of the foot. Good. Lift up, lift up. If you're in it, nice core strength. Slowly release the bind. Inhale, arms up towards the sky. 
Big swan dive, let it go. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, chaturanga, exhale down. Up dog when you're ready. Press the hips back, downward facing dog. Right leg towards the sky, take a full breath in. Exhale, pigeon pose, soften all the way down towards the ground. Right ankle towards your left wrist, right knee towards your right wrist. You're trying to parallel your shin bone towards the top of your space. You can stay lifted in a proud pigeon or start to lower down. Soften the forehead down towards the earth. Stay with it. You have about seven more breaths. Take this opportunity to release mental, emotional, energetic, and physical strain. Release control. Invite softness and grace into your practice and into your life. Stay committed, stay focused to the practice. You're about halfway there. If you need to intensify any more, you always have the option to dive. Left arm through the right, take a gentle bind, keep opening into the shoulder. Right arm can reach forward. Give me three last breaths here. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. When you're ready, walk the hands back up, unwind if you took the bind, plant the hands onto the ground, tuck your toes, bring the right knee in towards the chest and hold it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, chin away from the chest, knee into the chest, five, four, three, two, downward facing dog, deep breath in through the nose, and a deep breath out. Inhale, gaze forward towards the hands. Bottom of the exhale, step, hop, fly, center of the space. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, deep forward bend. One more time like that. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, deep forward bend. Lift the torso off of your legs. Step your right leg back. Drop the back knee, keep the toes tucked. Cross your thumbs, inhale the arms overhead. Modified on Janayasana, deep breath in, deep breath out. You only have two more breaths, stay with it. Bend into that front knee, lean back. Last time, inhale, shift forward. Unhook your thumbs and then big arm circle. Release the hands down onto the ground. Inhale, deep breath in, look forward. Exhale, half splits, press back, flex that front foot. Four more times like that. Inhale, shift forward. On your own breath, shift back. Two to go. Last one. Inhale, shift forward, low lunge. Exhale, press your hips back, flex your front foot. You're either gonna stay here in a half split, surrendering your torso over your leg, or full Hanumanasana, scoot, left leg forward, right leg back. Remember, the intention is not the pose, it's the journey and how you feel in the pose. Stay with it, you're not here long. Keep that chest open in you if you're in full split, and then keep surrendering the upper body towards your torso on the half split. Three, two, one. Slowly come back into your low lunge. Plant the right hand onto the ground, lift the back knee. Left arm reaches towards the ceiling, low lunge twist. Inhale in, 
Exhale, lean back. One more like that. Inhale, reach high. Lean back. Big arm circles with that left arm, one direction. You know what's coming. Same thing on this side. Go ahead and reverse the motion. Keep engaging into that core and make this, these circles nice and big. Last one. Good, when you're ready, left arm towards the sky, take a full breath in. Exhale, release the hand on the inside of your left leg. Shimmy the left foot on the edge of your mat. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward. You have the option to stay here or start to drop the forearms down. Up, up, down, down. Keep going, this is round three, two to go. Last two. Last round, stay with me. Wherever you're at, walk your hands back up. Inhale, look forward. Stay right there for the exhale. Externally rotate your left foot. When you're ready, shoot all the energy from the front to the back, Malasana squat. Second round, only half as long. Press the hands into prayer. Your elbows on the insides of your knees. I always love making fists here and really pressing into the fists and externally rotating the hips. Give me five. Give me four. Three. Two. One. Release arms forward. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Coming up in five. In four. In three. Two. One. Release the hands by your sides. Two breaths here. Last breath in. Exhale. Slowly jump the feet in towards center. Reach the arms up towards the sky. Mountain pose. Exhale. Fly it back. Chair fly. Two more like that. Inhale. Reach high. Mountain. Exhale. Fly back. Last time. Stay with it. Exhale. Fly. Good. Hold your chair. Reach the arms up towards the sky. Keep holding your chair. Bring the hands into the heart. Rotate upper body towards the left. Right elbow hooks on the outside of your left knee. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist. Thumbs land onto the center of the sternum. Two more breaths. Last breath in. Last breath out. Don't unhook the bind. You're going to come into that flamingo pose. Lift. The left, or excuse me, lift the right foot and then press back into your crescent twist. Here for three. Stay with it. Two. One. Unhook the elbow. Window the arms open. Adjust your body into your warrior two. On the left side, if you'd like to reach for your towel, put it on your left hand. Settle into your warrior two on the left side. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Just one more. Stay with it. Exhale. Reach. Left arm towards 12. Right arm towards 6. Bend into your elbows. Reach for the towel. Stay here in. And out. Straighten that front leg. Lean back. Reverse the triangle. Keep reaching for your finger pads. Last full breath in. Lean back as you exhale. Slowly release the left arm. That towel is on your right hand. Bend into your right, excuse me, left leg. Left arm through. Catch your towel, catch your finger pads. Inhale, open your chest. As you exhale, you're gonna step right foot in towards your left. This is it. Birds of paradise on the right side. Engage into your core. Start to press up. If this is where you're at, this is where you're at. Maybe you work on the balance today. If you're working on strength and flexibility, start to straighten that left leg. Hold. Three. Wherever you're at. Hold. Two. Ooh. Give me. Last one, shimmy 
all the way towards the front of your space. Reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, deep swan dive. Let it go. <sighs> Halfway lift, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, breath, plant your palms. Step back, chaturanga. <sighs> up dog when you're ready. Downward facing dog. It's your last moment in down dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. <sighs> Left leg towards the sky. Inhale, breath. Slowly coming into your pigeon pose on that left side. Ooh, good. Left ankle by your right wrist. Left knee by the left wrist. Stay in a beautiful pigeon or start to soften the forearms down. Keep finding length in your spine. Keep finding length in your breath. You want to take a bind on this side you can just lift the torso gently you're going to guide right arm through the left drop the right shoulder the cheek and the ear down towards the ground last three breaths If you took that bind, you're slowly going to unhook, walk your hands back up, take a deep breath in through the nose, exhale out, tuck your back toe, press left knee in towards the chest, it's the last little bit of work you have, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, drop the knees down towards the ground, swivel the legs forward. Good. We'll come onto deer pose, counter stretching everything that we just did. Let's start right leg forward, left leg back. So just like we did in pigeon, your right leg, your right shin bone is parallel to the top of your space. You're creating this beautiful 90 degree angle with the back of your knee. You're going to twist towards the right side of the space. You're either going to stay here or you're going to start to soften the forearms down towards the ground. Maybe even drop the head all the way down. Flex your feet. Breathe. Last inhale here. Exhale out. When you're ready, walk your hands back up. You're going to swivel those legs forward and just switch sides. Left leg forward, right leg back. Left shin bone parallel to the top of your space. 90 degree angle with the back of your knees, flexing into your feet. You'll twist towards the left. You'll drop the forearms down towards the ground. Stay here if that's enough. Or drop the forehead onto your palms. Last breath here. Exhale out. Slowly press into your hands and then swivel your legs forward. Give them a little shake. Give them a little loving. Maybe squeeze your thighs, squeeze your knees, squeeze your calves. And the last pose I'll give you sitting. You're going to come into a straddle, but you're going to bend the knees. If you took class on Tuesday, this is exactly the same. Bend into your knees and flex your feet. You're going to reach the arms up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, you're going to guide the arms through the legs. So just underneath the knees, yeah? And then maybe this is where you're at. Maybe you need a wiggle to really get them in there. Maybe this is what your pose looks like. Amazing. I love it. Stay right there. If you feel like you have more flexibility to go, just start to straighten the legs. 
maybe you're a little bit more like this and then eventually one day you will land forehead down flex those feet give me five breath give me four three It's the last two opportunities you have to engage into the breath. Last breath in, last breath out. And then wherever you're at, try to come out as gracefully as you can. Scoot your seat all the way forward and then just start to guide it down vertebrae by vertebrae, soften the shoulders. When you make it down, knees in towards your chest, give yourself a loving squeeze. Good, we'll take a one minute legs up the wall. If you're actually near a wall, remember that you always have the option to scoot your sit bones as close as you can to the wall and then send those legs up towards the sky. We're only here for one minute, so totally fine if you don't have a wall near you. Know that your knees can always be super bent if you have tight hamstrings. Take this moment to just visualize what the rest of your weekend would look like, whether it's you're planning or you're just taking a super free weekend. Really try to visualize yourself in peace, in love, and joy, and strength. 30 seconds. are definitely starting to feel a little tingly. This is totally normal. It's totally safe. You can actually do this pose for up to 20 minutes a day. And I've actually never made it to 20 minutes, but it feels amazing. Stay with me for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, to bend into your knees. You can stay by the wall. We'll take a happy baby neck. So just bend into your knees. Happy baby pose. Upside down squat. You can grab anything that's accessible. So hamstrings, back of the knees, calves, ankles, maybe your feet. You can rock, sway side to side. Giving your low back a loving massage. You can even Hold an upside down straddle if you're still trying to work on flexibility or openness into your hamstrings and inner thighs. Take two more breaths, keep lengthening. Last full breath in and a full breath out. Bring the knees back in towards your chest, give yourself a squeeze. Lift your shoulder blades off the ground. Wrap both forearms around your shin bones, catching opposite elbows, tucking the chin in, and holding all the energy you just cultivated for yourself for five, four, three, two. Lips, nose, forehead, touch the knees, and then exhale. Savasana, dead corpse pose. Take as much room as you would like. You can take your ponytail off. You can take off your top layer. You can dab your sweat, whatever it is. Just stay with me for the next 90 seconds, really allowing the body to reap all the benefits of your hard work. I have a beautiful quote by the wonderful Ram Dass today. He says, when you go out into the woods and you look at the trees, you see all these different trees and some of them are bent. You sort of understand that it didn't get enough light and so it turned that way. And you don't, you don't get all emotional about it. You just allow it. 
the minute you get near humans, you lose all that. And you're constantly saying, you are to this or I'm to this. That, ju that judgment mind comes in. And so I practice turning people into trees, which means appreciating them just the way they are. Start to come back into your breath and back into your body. You can wiggle your fingers and toes and sway your head side to side, giving yourself a loving massage. When you're ready, you're gonna reach the arms up towards the sky, take a full, or you're gonna reach the arms overhead, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, roll off onto any side into a supported fetal pose, placing the ear on top of your bicep and both palms facing down onto the earth to ground the energy. Take this opportunity as an energetic rebirth. Take what you need and leave what doesn't serve you. When you're ready, press into your hands, easy seated pose, hands in prayer position on top of your heart. Thank you so much for your commitment. Thank you for showing up. I appreciate you immensely. I hope you have a beautiful day. Go with ease and peace. Namaste.